Hello, I'm Darla Deardorff at Duke University. For a number of years, I've been working and publishing and researching around a topic uh, called intercultural competence. When I think of intercultural competence, I'm reminded of a quote by Martin Luther King Jr. who said, we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools. And in my mind, this summarizes the essence of what intercultural competence is all about in looking at what skills, attitudes, knowledge is necessary for us as humans with all of our differences. What is necessary for us to come together? This handbook is comprised of three different sections. In the first section, there are chapters dealing with the uh, definitions and conceptualizations around intercultural competence. One unique feature in the first section is that there are chapters written by experts from different cultural perspectives. So there are chapters looking at intercultural competence from an Arab perspective, from a Latin American perspective, from an African perspective, as well as uh, chapters looking at how intercultural competence and identity come together, uh, how intercultural competence and global citizenship fit together, uh, both from a U.S. and a Vietnamese perspective, and so on. In the second section, it gets more practical. What does this look like in the different fields and disciplines? And so there are chapters that address how intercultural competence is manifested in healthcare, in social work, in engineering. And then the third section also becomes more practical in looking at what research looks like around intercultural competence and how does one assess intercultural competence, uh, particularly given the complexity around, uh, around what this means and, and what it means to interact with those from, from different backgrounds. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.